Hello everyone, welcome to VMAS Career Consultants Private Limited. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to share quick updates with you that has come in PT Academic Test. And without further delay, so let's start looking at the updates that have taken place. Here, I'm actually sharing my screen with you and uh, I'm going to share the PDF that has been sent to us by PTE Academy and uh, detailing what kind of updates have been taken place. So understanding the updates, uh, just a second, yeah. They actually say same grade test, even more convenient. Yes, now it has become more convenient and I'll tell you how it has become convenient actually. Okay, so the first, uh, I should say the most important change that has taken place is PT academic test. The timing of this test has been reduced and it has been made to a two hour test. Yes, right now, anyone who gives the PT academic test, they say the actually, you know, the time is three hours and it takes, it's actually quite tiring for the student to sit for three hours, even though they have an optional 10 minutes break. But now this PT academic, which is including your UK VI, it will be a two hour test. So now the duration of the test has been reduced to two hours. And yes, they are also launching an online proctored test. What is a proctored test? I'll tell you actually. This is this test is actually called PT Academic Online. So when I say proctored, it means you, a student does not necessarily has to go to the PT Academic Test Center. They can actually give this test at their own convenient time, sitting in their office or at home, and they can give this test. So that's how it becomes convenient. First is the timing has been reduced. And the second is the test can be given sitting at home. Something uh, quite similar to Duolingo English test, I would say, because we can give Duolingo English test also anywhere at any point of time. But it's not the immediate change. They have informed us well before in advance. And this change is going to commence from 16th November 2021. Yes, it's not immediate. It's kind of preparation and they have already informed us in advance. Any kind of a change that is going to take place is going to commence from 16th November 2021. What are the other changes? So let me give you the other updates. So what is changing? Our test duration is changing. Yes, that's what I told you. Score reports are also changing. The layout of the score report, you know how we usually get the score reports, it's also changing. And the preparation resources are changing because obviously the duration has been reduced. So they are coming up with new preparation resources. PT is going to share some new preparation resources. And what is actually not changing is the type of questions in the test. So anyone who is preparing for PT Academy, they don't have to worry, oh, you know, no new questions added. And uh, the type of questions remains the same. The number of questions, yes, there is a change, which I'll come back later. Okay, so type of questions in the test remains same. And yes, reliability and validity of scores remains the same. And that's what I always vouch for in PT Academy, that it's actually 100% reliable, 100% valid scores. Okay, in this uh, particular PDF, on this particular slide, they are actually referring that this change is not like immediate. You know, they just thought, okay, let us bring up some change and they have brought it. No, this change has gone through a particular process and that's how they have come up with this kind of a change. Okay, again, what we need to know or what the students, anyone who is planning to appear for PT Academy need to know that the, these changes are going to place from 16th November. Okay, now this is actually something very important slide. So I want you to, you know, listen this very carefully. The changes in the test timings, test timing changes. Now it's approximately two hours, which uh, now, or I would say it will be approximately two hours. 
but currently students have to sit for three hours. Okay, now let's understand this table. The introduction, personal introduction stays like old test times for one minute and there is no change in it. It means it's still there, okay? Coming to speaking and writing. Previously, the, it used to take approximately 77 to 93 minutes. So maybe one hour, one and a hour, one and a half hour or something less than that. But now the new test times is 54 to 67 minutes, which is just like one hour or five or 10 minutes more than one hour, not more than that. So there's a huge difference over here. So the timing has been reduced here. In reading as well, reading previously 32 to 41 minutes, which is equivalent to one hour, half an hour with few minutes more. But now they have trying to, you know, close it on in half an hour. So timing has been reduced. And yes, I think that's quite uh, noticeable. There's an optional break, okay? Those students can take, they cannot, it's up to them, you know, which was of 10 minutes. But now this optional break has been removed. Yes, it has been removed. So there is no break in the PT academic test going further. Okay, going further means commencing from the 15th November. Now listening, again, the timing has been reduced. If you look from here to here, it has been reduced. So all these sections, I would say speaking, writing, reading and listening, the timings has been reduced. So if the timing has been reduced, obviously there has to be some changes in the item type changes. Okay, how many items are going to be there? So yes, there has been a, actually a good change. So if you look from describe image, till summarize written text. So now it has been reduced. Describe image, previously we used to give six to seven items here. But now you will only get three to four, which is, I think, a relief to most of the students. And then retail lecture, again, three to four, but now it will be just one and two. Again, a good relief, I should say. Answer short questions, it's fine. You know, that it doesn't take a lot of efforts to do. Summarize written text, yes, it's a relief. So I think the changes that have taken place it's, is actually a good relief for all the students. That. This is the change that we have in speaking and writing. Moving further, understanding the change in reading. There is in a noticeable change, I would say, multiple choice, multiple answer, and multiple choice, single answer. Again, student will be happy in that. Multiple choice, multiple answer. Now you will have less items. Here also you will have less items. Coming to listening, Link, listening is actually the particular section which has the most number of uh, question types or the item types here. Now there, if you see the yellow sections, you see actually there are five item types where, which have the considerable change. Summarize spoken text, multiple choice, multiple answer, Highlight correct summary, multiple choice, single answer, and select missing word. So these have been reduced. Now, instead of student getting two, two, three, they will only get one, two, two. Okay, and yes, showing you the another major change, I should say, that is the change in the score report. The score reports are changing, and I think it's more simplified now. If you look at the score reports, the change is, you have all the communicative skills here, but yes, there are no enabling skills. So enabling skills have been removed. So the score report that the student will get effective 15th November, okay, there will be no enabling skills in that. And uh, that's, I think, quite simple. So this is the kind of a score report that will be issued once the changes become in effect. Okay, let me just revise the date. It's 16th November and not 15th November. Score reports prior to November 16th will not be changes. Okay, there will be no changes in the score reports that issued or will be issued before 16th November. Effective 16th November, yes, score reports will be changed.
Okay, this slide is actually about uh, the academic resources, how we, how the students can prepare on. And then moving on further, I want to actually take you up to something which is called PT Academic Online. This is the same proctor test that you can give by sitting at your home. And to understand it quickly, actually, there's a particular software on the app, I should say, that you need to have in your laptop. This is the name of the software. It's called a testing software. And the student needs to have it in the laptop, install it there. And then they can actually give this online test at any particular point of time. But this test is a proctored exam. So what is a proctored exam? It means uh, your camera is on. So you will always have someone observing you, you know, even if you're sitting at office, sitting at home, that does not mean that uh, you can ask, uh, you know, you can take the help from anyone. No, even if you are uh, sitting at home, but you need to ensure that someone is observing you. So proctored are actually kind of spies, you know, observing you, not sitting at your place, but at some other place. Okay, the fee, the test fee is actually same as the local test center. So even if you're giving uh, this exam at a test center or you want to give exam at your home, the test fee is same. But yes, there is, uh, you know, there is, uh, I would say, some um, apprehension, I would say, that uh, this PT Academic Online, if you're planning to give the test at your home, which is called PT Academic Online, it is not accepted by governments for visa applications. So if you're planning to give this test, please check it with your particular university if they accept this test which is called PT Academic Online. Okay, so please check it and then only pay for it. So in nutshell, if we need to understand that this is a test center and this is where you can give your test and easily sit at home and give it. Okay, security measures actually are the same. First thing, it's an obviously it's an AI controlled, carriage supported, and then you will have the human greeter here. So there will always someone, you know, it's like, you know, it's a software. So you need to understand that uh, you need to have your cameras on every time and there'll be someone who's observing you. And Proctor can communicate with the test takers and revoke the exam in case of suspicious activity. Yes, you understand, okay, kuch nahi ho rahe, you know, nothing is going to happen. Let, I'll take help of my family member or I'll call someone who has gone 90 or 90 and I'll tell that person to help me out. But yes, if the Proctor observes that there is any suspicious activity, they may revoke the exam. There is no break in the standard test. Okay, the test content, even if you give PT academic uh, or PT academic online, the difficulty level is same. Duration is same, the cost is same. Okay, the testing process is uh, quite similar to your Duolingo English test again. I have been teaching Duolingo, so I know, you know, what kind of uh, doubts a student goes through. So PT Academic has the same thing now. You need to be at a quiet and private location. You need to have a reliable computer with a webcam. There has to be wired headset, uh, strong internet connection. And yes, you need to download and run the on-view software. This is only available on this particular software. Okay. See, uh, it's written PT Academic online test fee is the same as local PT Academic prices. So whenever you want to book your PT test, uh, you can simply, you know, go to my PT account and on the PT Academic online web page and test can be scheduled in 24 hours in advance. What happens after a test is booked? Booking confirmation email is received and the test appointment appears in my PT. That's your uh, account. So if you see, it's shown over here. So if there's a test day, test takers begin by logging into my PT and finding their test appointment on the dashboard 13 minutes prior to the appointment time.
Test takers download the OnView testing software and launch the application to start the check-in process. So let me again tell you, if you're planning to give the PT academic regular test, then go to the test center and try to, you know, find the test center which is near to your location and give it there. But if you plan to give PT academic online, then this is what you need to follow. There is a check-in process. Everything has been detailed out. There's a system check. There's ID check. And then you are required to wait up to 15 minutes while the greeter checks that everything, uh, you know, the information, the photos that you have submitted is verified. And they are admitted and then you can begin your test. While taking the test, test takers must follow testing rules. Again, don't think that you can be more smarter than an artificial intelligence system. You can't be more smarter, so don't try to cheat. Try to be honest and give the test uh, without taking any external help. And yes, the score report typically comes to you within two days. Score report is also exactly the same like you give PT academic test. But there is a uh, you know, slight difference if I just show you here. Here it is written PT academic online and here also they have given this PT academic test was taken at home or in office rather than a test center. It may not be accepted at all institutions. So it's better you verify, check and then give this test. Okay, so here we end with the PDF, which is given by PT Academy. But yes, you know, a doubt came to my mind. So I want to check the same score report if I give a regular test. So let me just scroll up. Because the previous one says uh, academic online. So I want to check the score report. What does the... Okay, yes. If you see the difference here, it does not say a PT academic online and here it does not give any warning. So yes, the test take uh, the score reports are also will be slight different with just the notification, I would say it will be notifying that this is an academic, this is an online test and this is a regular test. Okay, so here I end with uh, sharing the updates with you. So what I could recall is the major updates have taken in time. And then you can, uh, there's a new test that has been launched, which is PT Academic Online, which you can give at your home. You don't have to give, go to a test center. There's a change in the score reports. And yes, um, the various portions or various item types uh, has been uh, reduced uh, in terms of how many items you get. So I hope this video is quite helpful to you as I have brought up with the immediate changes that are going to take place. Thank you.